Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta of the Search Theory, and today we're going to look at how to use a OSINT tool called Magret, M-A-I-G-R-E-T. It can be found on GitHub, github.com slash Magret. Uh, excuse me, pardon me, github.com slash S-A-X-A-J slash Magret. You just look up Magret, you'll find it. Basically, um, it's a collection.cf personal by username only. So basically, it's going to collect information about people based on usernames. Now, how does this come in handy? Is uh, human beings pretty much creatures of habit? They tend to reuse usernames over and over and over again. Now, this is a um, OSINT tool, so you kind of need to use it in the Python, uh, Docker type stuff. And all the directions on how to do it is right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do it um, just so just so we all see it. I have already opened. Um, the cloud shell, uh, which is basically a long way of saying, um, as I showed in another video, uh, video via, um, a cloud Linux machine. And we're going to go ahead and do the installing. Now, first we got to do Docker because we need to make sure it knows we're pulling a Docker. And then the word pull. And then we got to put right down what it really is we're pulling. So in this case, it's X O J. So let's go back to this just so we see. So this is what we're doing right here. We're just basically doing this. Now, cutting and pasting sometimes doesn't work very well, so I'm going to just manually type it. XOJO, I believe. So let's do X, S, excuse me, O, X, O, I believe it's a J. And then it's a slash, and we're going to put in make, I believe that's correct. Let's just make sure I didn't miss anything. Down here, make it, boom, 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 boom. And we hit enter. And now it's going to do its thing, and blah, 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 and there you go. Now, while it's installing, we're going to come back here and look at the usage. So this is the first usage. We are just going to go ahead and basically do all this. Um, now, we're not going to copy and paste, or maybe we will this time. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens if I'm wrong or right about the copy and paste. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to copy and paste it all in there, and there it is. But what we are going to do is change the username because we can't just use username. So we're going to back out of this all the way down to username. And we're going to use one of my usernames, which is star4343. And if I'm not mistaken, we do a space, we do a double double HTML. So let's see what happens. Go. And it's thinking. And it's moving. And look at all this information we're getting. Okay, Twitch. It's searching hamster. It's searching gravitar. It's searching all these places to see if there is an existence of my username on those sites. And it's still going, by the way. Influencer, fan op, uh, Piku, P Pikuki. Uh, so let's look at one. So we're going to start right here. Gravatar and then Gravatar even looks at X-rated ones, porn hubs and stuff. Now keep in mind, just because Star 433 is mine doesn't mean that every one of these are me. Some of them are not going to be me, um, but a decent amount will. Like Gravatar, that actually is me. I do know that for a fact, and it's good. If it doesn't have a break, you know, you see the X breakdown, you can you can hover over the X and get more info. Let's see, MySpace, that is correct. If it doesn't have it broken down, open up broken down, there probably isn't a whole lot of info there. Um, some of these are definitely me. Some of these are not me. Um, Reddit, that is me. Um, so this is pretty good. So now that you, you, you do what I would do, how I would use this information is I would go to the ones that already open up and see if those are the person. Like you can just click it. It'll open up and tell you if that's, you know, what it is. You can do that with all of these. But again, remember not only like here's an example that says this is knitter. Um, and it's knitter.kevin.rocks star four three three. That's not me. I'm not. Kevin. Um, so we know that one. I mean, Calendly, that probably, as a matter of fact, that is me. Uh, Badu, that might be me. I don't remember if I have a Badu account or not. eBay definitely is me. Roblox, I don't recall if that's me or not. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually press one of these and see what happens. We're going to open up the, the SlideShare one. Well, if it's me, it doesn't say anything about me. And I'm pretty sure that's not me because I don't believe that's my SlideShare. And there's one way to find out is simple I could well we're not going to sign sign in because I don't want to show everybody my passwords but yeah so that's definitely not me so like I said some are and some not but at least you know the sites where the username is used as opposed to the ones where it's not used and that'll make 
all and now make it simpler simpler um, so that's it that's it in a nutshell that's what this particular tool does it just double checks where the usernames use and gives you links there are other tools that do not require like username check that is easier to use and simpler because it's got a UI they don't check as many sites as this one does but still it's good I mean this checked quite a few sites I'm actually quite impressed with how many sites so let's just let's do the reddit one again real quick um, Star 433, Post Karma, nope, that is, n don't think, oh, that might be me, Dean DC, all bits, yep, that is actually me, there you go, that actually was me, so it does do a good job, so there you go, that's how it works, uh, again, the name of the tool is, and I hope I'm pronouncing that, is Magret, Magret, something like that the commissioner jules magret is a fictional french police director okay well now we know maybe it's magret but anyway and you've got the address you know how to use it uh you look at my other videos to how to use the shell and you're good to go my name is dean DeCosta of the search authority may the source be with you